Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the best Cricut Prints and Cut stickers using my absolute favorite paper, the Koala paper. It is an ancient vinyl sticker paper. The specific one I'm using is glossy, but they also have a matte one that works amazing. It's affordable. It's literally the best sticker paper I've ever tried. I've tried the Cricut brand one. I've tried ones off of Amazon, dupes, ones from Walmart, all that you can possibly think of. And normally glossy has a little bit of trouble reading the registration marks, but this stuff is amazing. The final product is so cute. The stickers are so vibrant. So if you're thinking of selling stickers or you're wanting to add some sticker freebies to your Cricut business, maybe just make some stickers for fun, then definitely keep watching because I'm going to show you how to do that today with this really fun little koala paper. Here we go. I went ahead on Canva and then designed my little sticker. I actually filmed this on a live and I had lots of help from Corey and Nana and a lot of you lovely crafters who were helping me to learn Canva. Now I know it a lot better, but I designed this little sticker here. So I'm going to duplicate it the amount of times that I need. And I've sized it. I want to make one full sheet. So I'm going to duplicate it three more times. Perfect. And it is set to a print and cut image, which is perfect. I will show you how to change it though, if you need to. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to pull in something random. Let's pull in this little Halloween costume SVG. I'm just going to change it to size. Let's make it a five. So with this little Halloween costume SVG, I'm going to look up a little image just so you can see how it would go to create a print and cut little picture. Let's do that. That's cute. Okay. So we're going to send that to back. We're going to make this white. Okay, so let's pretend that we want to take these two cut files and make them into a print and cut design. So what you need to do, we're going to highlight over all of it, whatever you want on there, and select the button that says flatten. This is going to combine it into one print thin cut image. I know it looks like it kind of disappeared, but if I change the canvas color, you'll be able to see that it actually Let's change it so you can see better. It's all there. It's all right here. So then you're able to go ahead and just do print and cut that way. You need to select flatten for it to be able to combine as one. That tells your printer and your Cricut that you want it to be exactly where it is. It's kind of like attach and weld combined for print and cut. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that because I don't actually want that. But I wanted to show you if you were to upload an SVG, for example, or a PNG, you can also do Cricut Print and Cut with it. It doesn't have to be a PNG that you just uploaded in Cricut Print and Cut format. So now we're going to go ahead and select Make It. If you're experiencing any errors with Cricut Print and Cut since their update a few months ago, if you didn't know a few months ago, they actually tried to do this whole update that rolled out. And the purpose of it was to extend the size of Cricut Print and Cut, which was amazing. The problem was over 50% of Cricut crafters were experiencing problems with Cricut Print and Cut since that update. It rebooted it and it made a big mess. And everyone was not experiencing the same problem. They were all different problems. So some crafters are unfortunately still dealing with this. If you are experiencing this issue still, I do have a video right up here that I'll link on how to troubleshoot your Cricut Print and Cut to get it working again. So I'm going to set my material size. That's good. That's perfect. We don't need to mirror. We're good. We're going to continue. The next step is send to printer. So the first thing I want to do is select my printer. I have a sublimation printer and a regular one. So I'm going to click on my regular one. Copies, we're just going to do one. Now this part is personal preference. Automatically it adds bleed, which what kind of that is, is it adds a little bit extra of like a layer or a border behind it so that when your Cricut cuts it on the chance that it's off by like a little, little smidge, it isn't just like a blank white space around. Now, if I were to cut out like florals or this really pretty design that I didn't have a border around, in this case, it's hard to see, but there's a little white border around each sticker that I've made. There's no point for me. So I'm just going to remove bleed. The use system dialog, when you press print, it opens up your properties for your printer and you're able to play around with the settings if you need to. So I'm just showing you that in case you need to. You can go on over to preferences and then fiddle around with whatever you need to on your little printer there. And then it's preparing our print. So now we can grab our sticker paper. 
I'm using the Koala paper. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I used to use the Cricut printable sticker paper or printable vinyl, and this is a game changer. Even the glossy one works amazing. Your inkjet printer is all you need. With these sheets, you can see there's a clear back side and then the front side. Clearly, this is the front. With your printer, just make sure you know which way to load it. So for mine, I just load it essentially the way that it goes. Some printers, you have to load them backwards. So I'm going to slide in my paper, flip it around. They also have a matte one of these and I really like it as well, but I'm just so surprised that the glossy turns out so nicely. Once it's done printing, make sure you set it to the side. You need this to fully dry, especially since it's glossy. I made the mistake last time, I picked it up and I smudged ink everywhere. So let it fully dry for like five minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna tidy up my workspace and prepare my mat and my Cricut. I'm just gonna move it over actually a little bit so I can pull up my Cricut. And then the settings for our base material is going to be printable sticker paper. I did just select the white one. You just need to go to browse all materials and I just have mine starred. A couple of ways you can do stickers. One is what they call a kiss cut, which is essentially going to be that it leaves you this sheet of stickers and then you can peel up one at a time individually. Now the way that I tend to do it is I just make the sticker cut all the way through the backing and that way it's individual stickers that I can just have like in a little jar or something but it kind of is up to your personal preference. So once this is dry, go ahead and add it to your mat. Make sure your mat is decently sticky, you do not want this moving around. So I'm going to push it down. Awesome. So it is on there. Now I'm going to load my Cricut. So go ahead and do that. With Cricut Print and Cut, you need to give it some time to read the registration marks, which is this black kind of rectangle you see around it. That is what the Cricut reads to know exactly where on the page it needs to cut. There's some type of fluff. And so this way it knows exactly where to cut and it doesn't cut through your image. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and you'll see that it'll turn on a little light and kind of do its little search. Sometimes you'll experience some error messages where it says it cannot read. And I also have a video which I'll put right up here teaching you some little hacks to help your Cricut read those registration marks. The reason I love this Koala paper so much is typically glossy paper is really tricky for the Cricut to read the registration marks because of the reflection. But for some reason, this Koala paper goes so nicely and the Cricut can read it amazingly. Amazing, so it finished cutting all the way through, so I'm ready to unload my mat. Wonderful. What you can do is peel up the backing. Because I did it all the way through, I can just easily peel it up. And then a couple ways to get these off without creasing them. One way, which is debatably the easiest, is to flip it upside down. Flip it upside down and then you're just going to pop them off. Essentially by using gravity, fold your mat the other way and they kind of just come off. Or you can take your little spatula, do the same thing if they're stuck on there, like if you have a really sticky mat, but try not to pull them off like this or you're going to end up with very bent stickers, which I'm assuming you don't want. So I'm gonna pop all of these off and then show you the finished product. So here are our little stickers and I'm just going to peel one up to show you what it kind of looks like. So I purposely did it this size, that way I can stick it on the bottom of mugs or whatever I need to. I popped it on my Cricut. Now, I've already noticed that I need to leave it to dry even longer because the ink is kind of wiping off a little bit, but it's super cute and I really love how these stickers turn out. Of course, I will leave a link to this Koala paper because like I said, I absolutely love it. And they also have a matte version of this. Highly recommend, super affordable, and you get really great quality stickers. So if you are thinking of doing a sticker business or adding some sticker freebies to your business, guarantee you're going to love this inkjet vinyl sticker paper.